I'm gonna teach you how to use the bullet effect on Sony Vegas Pro 8. So we go ahead and open it up. So we wait for the file to load. And when everything's done loading, we go to explore. And you wanna find your clip that you filmed yourself. In this case, I, I filmed myself from a webcam. Looks pretty fake because it was the first time doing it. First thing you're gonna have to make an audio clip track and two and two video tracks. So we import the video. Now you see the bottom two there's a video track and an audio track. So we just zoom in. The top track will be used for later use. So we go ahead and look for the bullet and for the gunshot muzzle picture you can get it off google images as you can see um, it covers up the whole screen so we'll have to apply chroma key we'll do a little bit later right now let's just look for the part where we shoot apply chroma key and look for black. And you see that transparent line? To make it go away, go to the low threshold and put it a little bit up. And then you look for your part where you shoot. You want to zoom in to get an exact picture of it. And then you drag the chroma keyed um, muzzle flash. It's just to drag it and make sure you make it smaller to make it one frame like the movies do. And if you need to, go ahead and zoom in if you need to. So let's just zoom in so we could get the crop option. You crop it and make it bigger until it fits wherever your hand or gun, whatever. And in this case, I'm going to put it right in front of the gun. It's not really a gun, it's just something. I don't really know what it is. So we zoom in. And we go back, and you see that I did a little bit earlier, so I'm gonna have to find the part where the the hand actually shakes right there. So we drag the picture right there, and we crop it right in front of the gun and at the first few tries you can't see it really so you just press space to pause you can't really see it right now but that's because the screen recorder so after that we go ahead and get it the sound of the gun. You can't hear it because I muted the speakers, of course, to make the recording a little bit faster. Okay, now we go ahead and split 
and the video track and we go and add very bright effect we split them where the bullet is then we go to very bright and we put it on the video track and just leave it to 0.25 just leave it where it is so I could actually look the effect of a gun being shot again you can't see it because the video sometimes gets laggy there you can see how it's gonna look all that is one frame and for the muzzle flash you can just go to google images and search gun shot muzzle and if you don't know how to spell it m-u-z-z-l-e it'll be the first one that's the one I used there's a lot more but that's the one I like to use um, I hope I help comment rate and subscribe